after a very, very interesting comment on one of my videos and a conversation with my daughter about my grandson, I bring this question to you. Is this hand sanitizing over and over again, is it good or are there issues and should we be actually doing it? What's up, blind viewers? How's everybody doing today? All right. Let's talk about this little subject here. Hand sanitizers. That's right. Everybody's running around squirting hand sanitizer on themselves constantly. Is it a good thing? Is it dangerous? Are there hidden dangers? Are there things that go on that people aren't even aware of? And uh, this all came about because I talked about... Uh, uh, past video about mask you know no shirt no shoes no service no problem but you throw the word mask in there and people have a fit they don't want to wear masks we just talked about the masks and everything and uh someone left a very very good comment a poignant comment and then i was talking to my daughter the other day about uh my grandson he's back in school now and uh they're they're using hand sign. I mean, they're making these kids sanitize their hands constantly. Uh, they go into school and they gotta use the hand sanitizer. They touch something to do something. They gotta use the hand sanitizer. They get up and touch the door. They gotta use the hand sanitizer. Um, they go outside to recess. They gotta use the hand sanitizer. Then when they come back in, they gotta use the hand sanitizer. Well, my grandson, he comes home and his hands are so chapped and dried out and split and busted open, they're actually bleeding. And now you know, if you ever worked with cardboard or anything, how the cardboard just sucks the moisture out of your hands and dries your hands up. Well, these kids are fumbling through, ruffling through papers and doing all kinds of stuff. So, you know, there's an added, all that good stuff to it. But I know a lot of people are, oh no, it, how can it be? You put that hand sanitizer on, so it's like gel. It's all slimy and squishy and everything. Yes, but there's a lot of alcohol in there. And as soon as that stuff rubs off, we all know alcohol evaporates really quickly. And it, uh, it dries your skin out. Now, normal use, you know, if you use it a couple times a day. Yeah, sure. It's not a big deal. But when, when they're constantly slathering these children in hand sanitizer all the time, it's not good. And there's a lot of other things. And we will get into that. I want to discuss that. But uh, let's see. First of all, let's go ahead and we will talk about the comment. And it is from Barb, the old farmer's wife. And it says, uh-oh, you asked for our opinion. Here goes. <laughs> Let me start by saying I wear a mask when required and requested. In the beginning, I was totally on board with all the recommendations, even frequent sanitizing my vehicle services. And the use of hand, saner, hand sanitizer, probably the worst thing that has happened to our country, right there. After 45 plus years as a, a registered nurse and 29 of those years working in public health, which includes immunity, infectious disease, and vaccines. In the beginning, I understood why we needed to take all the necessary precautions. They didn't know what they were dealing with. But when they figured it out and found treatments that work, it suddenly became political. That's when some people started opening their eyes. There are still far too many living in fear. That's what's sad to me. When you said, we don't want your germs, wrong. We need to share germs. That's how our immune system works. People don't understand and have let politicians and media, media scare the hell out of them. The recovery rate of COVID is 95.5 to 99.997% in people up to the age of 70. Over 70, it drops to 96%. The efficiency rate of the vaccine is 67% less than 
that of the H1N1 vaccine, which most people wouldn't take because it didn't work. Even after two doses of vaccine, you might still wear a mask and social distance, and you can still get the virus and spread it. So I'll leave you with this. If you wear a mask, good for you. If you don't wear a mask, good for you. <laughs> if you get the vaccine, good for you. If you don't get the vaccine, good for you. Do your own research on both sides. Make the decision that is best for you. It will always, I will always support your decision, whether you agree with me or not. And this, this is what kind of got me going here with all this. And again, my conversation with my, my daughter. And yes, um, when she says, when you said we, we don't want your germs wrong, we need to share germs. And we do. We do need to share germs. That is correct. It's very important. And the hand sanitizer, that's the deal. That is the deal right there. And uh, what, what are we talking about? We're talking about um, the fact that we have good germs also. We have good germs. We have bad germs. Hand sanitizer does not distinguish between the good and the bad germs. We can uh, go ahead and wash ourselves into infection. We can actually create worse problems by overwashing. And, well, here, don't just listen to some blind guy babble on endlessly and say, well, you don't know what you're talking about. You're not a doctor and blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm not. So let's go over here to some people that supposedly know better than me. Here's an a, a article from The Street. Well, let's see. Hand sanitizer, some dangers. Well, alcohol poisoning, just because it doesn't have a uh, try lot, whatever it says, uh, doesn't mean it's completely safe. The active ingredient is some of the hand sanitizers using cause alcohol. But yeah, they're talking about people getting uh, alcohol poisoning for one. Um, I know it sounds crazy, but with the levels of alcohol and some of this stuff, and especially children, like I said, they're slathering the children constantly with this stuff. Uh, here, another effect of this is hormone problems. The FDA, the FDA, the great FDA, you know they're only looking out for us, right? Right? Uh, says that uh, research shows that this uh, ingredient may lead to hormonal disruptions and cause bacteria to adapt to its antimicrobial properties. That's right. That's right. It's saying all kinds of good stuff here, you know. Weaker immune system. Studies have shown that this can also harm the immune system, which protects your body against disease. Right there. So it's not just uh, not just this. Let's see. What does this one have to say? All right. We have uh, the healthy and natural world says sanitizers can contribute to the development of super bugs. And sanitizers are intended to be used to ward off bacterial infections. However, multiple studies have shown that the use of these products has backfired badly. Rather than keeping bugs at bay, the prolific use of hand sanitizer, let's see the prolific use, not just, you know, wash your hands once or twice with the hand sanitizer, but dipping your kid in it all day long, the prolific use of hand sanitizer and other antibacterial products has led to bacteria becoming re resistant to those products, making these bugs more difficult to eradicate. You can move down. Sanitizers are allocated with allergies. Development in young children can be ha harmful to the ecosystem. What do we got here? This is the healthsite.com. Uh, it says, you know, it, it goes on with a bunch of stuff, but it says it also advocates the fact that hand washing with soap and water is the easiest, most effective, and affordable way to prevent serious disease infection. So, yeah, you don't have to get all crazy. Just wash your damn hands with soap and water. But they go on to list some things. What are hand sanitizer? Side effects of using hand sanitizer. Alcohol poisoning. 
Antibiotic resistance. Hormonal disruption. Weaker immune systems. Adverse impact on skin and promoting age. See, just like I said, it dries skin and dehydrate can cause calluses. And, and that's what's going on with my grandson right now. They are keeping him slattered in this stuff. And now he comes home and he looks like he's been working at Amazon folding cardboard boxes all day. His little hands are so dry and cracked up, they're actually bleeding. They're splitting apart and bleeding. And it's from the hand sanitizer. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was something that uh, I thought we needed to, to talk about a little bit. I mean, you know, we got, uh, I could go on and on and show you more, but, you know, but the things say, you know, you, you know, Wash, wash with hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer, constantly, constantly, constantly. And again, the alcohol content in that stuff, sure, it may not affect us, but you start letting these little kids, you know, little preschoolers and kindergarten kids and stuff, keep them soaked in hand sanitizer, they could, it, the reports say, they could actually get alcohol poisoning. And again, like Barb said, we need to share our germs. Remember when we were kids, we ran around, we ate dirt, we ate rocks, and we drank out of the hose. <laughs> yeah, we got sick, but, you know, our immune system said, hey, this isn't good, and it worked, and it fought things off. Now our immune system just goes to sleep and says, we don't need you because you're covered in all kinds of stuff and killed all the germs on your hands, even the, the good germs that we have, because we do have good germs that in your gut, on your hands, everywhere, that fight off the bad germs. And again, this stuff doesn't, uh, differentiate between the good and the bad so this stuff attacks everything and it, and you're thinking that well all I gotta do is hand sanitize constantly and I'll be safe no you're actually wiping away everything and lessening your immune system because it's a nice little fine complicated system the immune system and once you start messing with it and making it do other things or change things or change the way it fights things or let it think that there's nothing to fight because you're done got sanitized and there's nothing left. Well then, while it's taking a nap, boom. You've seen it, it's talking about all kinds of great stuff. It 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 just you know it, it can mess with everything. So yeah, again, if you want to squirt some hand sanitizer on you once or twice a day or something like that, okay, good on you. But the best thing to do is get out that good old soap, some warm water, and wash your damn hands. Ta-da. You don't have to get crazy. But I, I liked uh, Barb's comment. It was very poignant. And she's a knowledgeable lady. Again, what did she say? How many years? Let me go check this again. She says, uh, 45 plus years as a registered nurse. So, you know, you would think she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> but yeah, and that is right. Too much of anything is not good. That is true. That is very true. If you use it, you use it correctly and use it in moderation, there's not a problem. But when you go overboard, and you know some of these folks do, because like she said, you, uh, you got some people that are just too scared. They're, they're fearful because they listen to the media and the politicians and everything. And then you got who, you know, the, the World Health Organization, who says, okay, freak out, wear a mask, stay in your house, don't breathe the air. And then two days later, 
there's really nothing to worry about, folks. It's okay. If you wear your mask, you can go outside. And then the next day they're going, oh, my God, it's the worst thing on the planet. So you got to go back in your house now. And they're going, no, you can go outside and you can go to the store and still go to work. And then the next day, no, don't go to work. Shut everything down. Lay everybody off. And then they think, no, no, no more restaurants. You can't go inside. And then they say, well, okay, it started here in this lab. And then, no, no, it was at the monkey factory and <laughs> some chickens shit on a, you know, no. So you don't know what's going on. Even the World Health Organization didn't know what was happening. So they were freaking people out. And, uh, yeah, she said also about, you know, wearing masks, not wearing masks. And, again, when I was saying, you know, wear a mask, I'm not saying go wear a mask, put your damn mask on because it's going to protect you like a force field. No, my whole point was when I was talking about wearing masks is it's not that big of a deal. If it will make other people around you when you're out in civilization and in public, if it will make some other people comfortable and make everyone think that you're going to follow the rules, and if that's the rule in your state or your area or whatever, it's not like they ask you to put a 50-pound weight around your neck and carry it around or, you know, put 100 pounds in a backpack and wear it and walk around. No, it, a little piece of cloth over your nose and your mouth, not that big a deal. And no, you don't have to wear it in your car. You don't have to wear it in your house. You don't have to wear it. But when you walk across the parking lot before you go into that store, restaurant, whatever it is, just put the damn thing on and go about your day. If you don't believe in a thing, then either stay home or go somewhere where they don't want you to wear a mask. That's all I was talking about. I'm not saying that it's going to prevent or whether it does or doesn't. The point is that's what society says we should do to keep everybody nice and calm and safe without freaking out and screaming. And again, no shirt, no shoes, no service. So you put on your shirt and you put on your shoes. And then you go inside and they say, we reserve the right to not serve anybody because. So if they say before you cross this threshold of this doorway to come into my establishment, you got to put on a mask, then put on the mask and go about your day. You don't have to throw yourself on the floor and throw a fit and act like a three-year-old. That's all I was saying. It really has nothing to do with whether it's going to prevent or not. But, yeah. But, yeah, this hand sanitizer stuff is is a little bit too crazy. And it's uh, one of those things that I think more people should read some articles like I just showed you and just see what these hand sanitizers are made of and some of the effects that it can have on you long term. And it's really not helping all that much. It can be more of a hindrance. And anyone who says, well, you don't know what you're talking about, and Google's your friend, well, I Googled it, and that's what I showed you, what I Googled, and it came up first. So it wasn't, uh, you know, if you want to know something, look up it on Google. Well, I looked it up on Google, and that's what I found. So it's telling me that, yeah, the frantic and crazed hand sanitizing thing is not good and you're doing more harm than you know and especially our kids and again that's why when my daughter said eh, you know his hands are all they're all messed up and you know they got to do this and every time it's like 90 times a day these poor little kids are being doused with hand sanitizer everywhere not a good thing and I don't know, I think something needs to be done about it, especially for these school-aged children. And again, you may not agree with me, but that's not the point. The point is, this is Blind Views, and uh, hopefully I shed a little bit of light on something that made you think about it. And anyway, that's the way I see it. All right, what's over, up over here in chat? Uh, let me see, catch up. Uh... Ox says, I've used so much hand sanitizer, I think I'm pissing pure alcohol. Yeah, it could be. Kathleen. Uh, reflect, personally, I like Berman. Uh, I use very little hand sanitizer, but I use plenty of soap and water. Yeah, see, that's what I think. I, I go with the, with the soap and water deal. Uh, Butterbean is encouraging everyone to get their vitamin B12. That's where it exits seriously, exists seriously. Uh, 
wear a mask, wash your hands, and quit your bitching, right? Yeah, pretty much. Hello, Grimpen Meyer. Let's see. Firm's eye view. It is evening, isn't it there, dearie? How are you? How are you there, my Princess Pippa Worm? I hope all is well in your part of the world. Uh, I just watched uh, Posh Cats. Old Trev and Sue. Just watched their little video. Let's see. Jay from Quebec, you always have the option to use rubber gloves when you go shopping. There you go. Um, I have, I, well, I always get, I get boxes of the, uh, the nitro gloves, um, for when I mix my vape juice. One, I use nicotine. You don't want that to be absorbed in your skin. You can actually get nicotine poison and get pretty sick. And, uh, plus the juice is slimy and it gets all over and uh, all that crap. So I, I wear the gloves and I just take them off, turn them inside out and boom, 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 done. And they're not that much. You can get a big old box and, uh, have a whole bunch of nitro gloves, man. And you're good to go. So yeah, you can throw them little gloves on. You can still feel things through them and stuff. It's not like wearing big winter gloves and yeah, you can throw them babies on, take them on and off. I wouldn't wear them for long periods of time either because, yeah, that's not really good either. I'm good, thanks, my dear. Oh, that's good. Good to hear. There's Yo-Yo Max. Hello. Kathleen said lots of vitamin B12 keeps mosquitoes away too. Excess is secreted through the skin, and the bugs hate the taste. Huh. Did not know that. Bob and Rob said, so <laughs> you're saying I'm going to die? Well, shit. <laughs> one day, one day you are going to die. What do they say? We all start dying the minute we're born. <laughs> as soon as we come out and they smack us on the ass and we start screaming, that's when the dying begins. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> yep. But, yeah, I guess the thing is, is... You know, you can get freaked out and go overboard with anything. Like, uh, who was I? Was it Never Again who said, too much of any good thing is not good. And I agree. Is this another VD public service announcement? <laughs> but yeah, that, uh, I think a lot of people, not, not, not everybody, but I mean, Every time you touch something new, you got to put some hand sanitizer on it. Every time you encounter something, you got to touch, you got to put hand sanitizer on. Yeah, you're you're doing you're doing a lot more harm than you think you are. Uh, before COVID, there was a trend where they were recommending not to use hand sanitizer. Exactly, that's what I was saying. It uh, it's it doesn't differentiate it doesn't know the difference between our good germs and our bad germs because we do have good bacteria that helps us fight some of the nasty icky stuff and when you hand sanitize and you use a lot of hand sanitize well when you sanitize everything you're killing everything and you actually make yourself more susceptible that's horrible for your grandchild it is it it kind of sucks because there's not a whole lot as a, you know, six-year-old kid, you're going to do and say, no, I'm not putting this damn shit on my hands for the 46th, 46th time today. You know, I, I, it's, it's, it is sad. And the kid comes home and his hands are all busted up and split because they're just soaking him in damn hand sanitizer. Rob Q, I said, we lost another keyboard player, rocker, rip. Gene Taylor, Lester can't. Oh, can't he? Yeah. Thunderbirds, Gene Taylor rocks. Yep, I did not know that, Rob. Same with the overprescribing of antibiotics. Yes, that's another thing. Yeah, that is true. I don't use hand sanitizer. I use soap. 
I just can't stand the stuff. And it's probably the best, yeah. Exactly. Even if you use, even if you wash your hands with soap and water a lot, I mean, depending on the, the type of soap you use, soap can dry your hands out too. But at least it's not full of all kinds of chemicals and tons of alcohol and all kinds of other crap. So yeah, it is, uh, I think it's the best way to go. And again, if you want to squirt some hand sanitizer on you occasionally, but I, I don't use it. I just, I stay away from it. It's just, yeah. Remember all YouTube vids on washing your groceries before you brought them in the house? I drew a huge line there. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. You seen people that were, you know, that, that order stuff from Amazon and it got dropped on the porch and they'd go out with gloves on and a can of Lysol and they'd pick up the box and they'd spray the whole box with Lysol and wipe it down and, and let it set out on the porch for a while and then they'd bring it inside and do all kinds of crazy shit. But yeah, you know, Hey, but, uh, yeah, you know, and, and, uh, the old farmer's wife, she was kind of addressing the herd immunity thing a little bit, which is, you know, it is, it does work, you know? And I'm not saying, oh, well, you know, if someone got COVID, go over and swap spit with them and everything. But, you know, again, you go into the military and you're getting ready to be deployed and go here and there and there. You get stabbed and shot with all kinds of stuff. And they even give you just a little tiny bit of anthrax. So the body says, what's this? We got to fight it. And boom. And it builds up immunity. So if you keep yourself in your little plastic bubble, I guess this is the whole point, basically, with the hand sanitizer when you go crazy with it. If you keep yourself in your little plastic bubble, and then after a year or two, you unzip that bubble and you step outside, boom, you're done. You're going to get sick of shit. <laughs> There's no two ways around it. So that's the point, I guess, in a nutshell, to make it real simple. Only when I stop doing glass work, dry hands and splits are inevitable. Yeah. I have one now on the thumb. Well, yeah, and that's the thing, too. Like I said, I, when, when I used to work for the moving company, just carrying boxes into the, in and out, you know, out of a house, into a truck or back and forth, just holding them boxes all the time, all day long, and stacking them, all that stuff, that cardboard just sucks all the life out of your hand. It takes all the moisture out, and your hands just get so dry and cracked. It's pretty nasty. Super Ghost came about after the use of bleach in the world. Overuse of pesticides creates insects that are immune to it. Correct. Chemicals can't beat soap and water. I agree. I admit I was a grocery washer for the first couple of months last year. Not now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in the beginning, I'm sure we all kind of like freaked out a little bit and did some weird shit. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't go nuts with it. You could always use pure vanilla extract on your hands. That will work also. Oh, really, Beanie? Cool. Your hands will smell good, too. Yeah, your hands will smell good. That's right, Lola. Utter Balm. Yeah, that is true. That is good stuff. I Yeah, I know about the Utter Balm. See, I normally have very... My hands, even though I work... You could probably see, but even though I worked construction... And I play guitar. I don't have any calluses. My hands are smooth as a baby's ass. And my hands are always, not wet, but my hands are always moist. So when my hands get dry, there's an issue. But, yeah, you know, I can't use hand lotion and a lot of stuff because my hands are already soft and kind of moist. So anything extra just makes them disgusting and feels, ugh, it just feels so gross. BB's about to give me a reason. Give me a reason for me not cleaning my house. <laughs> there you go. I also admit I washed my groceries a couple of times when the pandemic began. Not anymore, but I wash my hands after emptying the bags. Yeah. yeah. Now, there you go. I do that too. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's reasonable. But you don't probably don't slather yourself in hand sanitizer every five minutes either. A little pure lavender essential oil will stop. A small bleeding cut, too. Lee and Brendan have the same issue with 
handling boxes at work all day. Yeah. The, 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 I know for a fact, man. And like I said, the kids, it's not cardboard, but they're handling papers and, you know, they're the papers that they're working on or, you know, they're, they're doing their numbers and letters or they're leafing through books. And that dries out your hands enough. And now you got, you're dumping alcohol on your hands, which evaporates and just sucks all the moisture out of your hands. And now you, you got these little kids that are just, yeah, it's crazy. Still have cover, cardboard box scars and staple scars from working for several years, breaking down boxes as part of my job. Yeah. It does have a lot of alcohol in it. Yep. I remember as a small kid, I was only worried about girl germs. I outgrew that one <laughs> and got immunity. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Ooh, girl cooties. Yuck. <laughs> oh, yes. I remember the day that I went from, ooh, yuck, girl cooties to, ooh, girls. <laughs> and then it was really all downhill from there. <laughs> Uh, anyone who has a YouTube channel by Rick Halber, Hal, Halber, he passed away recently. No, I did not know him. Shepherds have soft hands from handling sheep fleece all the time. Lanolin, that's right. That's why they use that shit in the soap. There's the old stunner. Use soap and water unless water isn't available. I do have sanitizer now for the first time ever. I have some, but... And I got it early on because when they were saying, oh, you can't get hand sanitizer and you can't get toilet paper, I bought a little bottle, a little, just a, not, not no giant jug. I just bought a little bottle of hand sanitizer and it's 90, 98% of it is still in the, in the bottle. <laughs> it's down next to the sink. <laughs> yeah, we use soap and water. Don't use it that much, but I have, yep, exactly. Three sheets. We're exposed to chemicals like sanitizers and disinfectants are more likely to develop thyroid cancer. So now what? We all get cancer? Yeah, exactly. That's that's another good point. It does. Uh, the articles I was referring to it did say about uh, different uh, parts, different things that uh, it affects in your different systems. But yeah. Linda Lay Riskins have always washed my hands a lot. Yeah, I bet you have. And wore gloves too, probably. <laughs> Back for a few minutes until we leave for an early dinner. Cool. Yeah, I'm not going to stay on here long. I just wanted to uh, get on here and talk about the hand sanitizer. And uh wanted to read Barb's comment too. I thought it was really good, the old farmer's wife. Um, I thought it was a very poignant, well thought out and well written comment that I enjoyed thoroughly. And I do respect her opinion for sure. And I enjoy her sharing her, her opinion with us. I do thank her for that. And, uh, again, when I talked to my, my uh, daughter about my grandson, I was like, man, I know. I I don't I didn't really care for the hand sanitizer stuff anyway because like I forget who it was mentioned earlier. Yeah, uh, was it Yo-Yo Max? Years ago. Yeah, like don't use that hand sanitizer. This is why. Just wash your hands. That hand sanitizer does this and that and that. And yeah, that all went out the window. Now it's like bathe in it and wear a mask. But um yeah, just wanted to say just be aware and again, you don't have to believe the blind guy who uh, isn't a doctor. Go ahead and, like they say, Google's your friend. Google that shit. What are the dangers of hand sanitizer? And you can read it for yourself and find out all the good things <laughs> that I found today that I wanted to get on here and share with you guys and have a little discussion to see what you thought. And I appreciate you guys hanging out and... uh sharing your opinions and views with me. Yes, Beanie, you are, are true. Uh, Barb does talk from knowledge and experience. She is, uh, again, she's someone that I do uh, value her opinion. She is, 
she usually doesn't speak unless uh, she has something to say. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Unlike a lot of folks, including myself here on YouTube, who just have to talk just to hear ourselves talk. But yeah, uh, Barb doesn't talk unless she has something to say. So when she does talk, I do listen and I respect her opinion greatly. Thank you, BF and all in chat. Have a great weekend. Yes, you guys have a great weekend. Uh, could I caught this live for a bit? I had a 40 minute break from the census. Oh, you're doing the census fun. <laughs> By the way, they sent me four big bio bottles of sanitizer. <laughs> yeah, I would sooner go through 10 pair of those nitro gloves in a day, change them out, than uh, pumping the hand sanitizer on myself. But that's just me. Uh, Linda Lee Redskin says she uses hand sanitizer sparingly and mainly after pumping gas. Now, see, there you go. Now, stuff like that, again, my choice would be to uh, grab some of them nitro gloves, throw them on, pump, and then throw them bitches away. But if you don't, then, yeah, grabbing stuff like that, that and grocery carts, the same way. Uh, but then again, I prefer to get the wipes and wipe down the cart and then use it instead of, you know, using it and then washing your hands with the sanitizer. Um, and my thought, my reason being is this. If you grab shit that you're not, you know, too keen on or you don't know about and you feel that after you're done touching it, you need to sanitize your hands, how many times do you touch that thing and then go, hmm, let's see, uh, uh, over here, uh, mm, oh, my eye, it's, oh, Jesus, hmm, gee, uh, oh, wow, I just touched that. I better hand sanitize. It's too late then. So if you got them little gloves on, usually that little barrier, that glove kind of makes you go, eh, I don't want to touch my face with that stupid glove on. And you can take them puppies off, and if you do it right, you can turn them inside out on each other and throw them away. So, and again, they're not that much. There are probably no more. You could probably get a box of, you know, 500 of them or whatever, or, or 1,000, 500 pair or whatever it is for probably as much or maybe even less or a little bit more than buying a jugs and jugs of hand sanitizer. But uh, hey, it's just my, my th way of thinking. I thought it was funny seeing people spraying their money with Lysol. If you want your money clean, run it through your washing machine. It isn't harmful if you have. Yeah, exactly. Plus, plus, who uses money anymore, you know? It's your little card, and now they're even doing the, well, you walk by and tap. You don't even have to hand it to nobody or touch anything or push buttons or anything. You just tap your card and roll. So, yeah. It is, uh, it is different. It is different. We are in different times. But I guess we just have to figure out what we're going to do. <laughs> You're making me feel like I should go wash my hands. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when you're, you know, if you're, you're well, like Linda, Linda knows, but if you're a uh, first responder of any kind, whether you're police, fire, EMS, whatever, putting them gloves on and off all day, a whole bunch of different times, you get used to that. You know, you go in on medic assist. You don't, you don't touch anyone with your bare hands. You always put gloves on. And uh, so that, that's kind of like not a big deal to me. And uh, the only time we ever used the sanitizer and all the other good stuff, we had some strong shit too, is if you thought that you touched someone and touched their blood or you were wearing your fire gloves and you thought that maybe some somebody's bodily fluids or some chemicals or stuff soaked through your fire gloves because they're not meant to keep that out. So we would scrub down. But yeah, even even in the fire service, we didn't hand sanitize constantly. No, you put shit on to, to you put a barrier on that wasn't going to soak into your skin and do all that other stuff. But yeah. So the gloves. The gloves is my thing. That's what I do. I stay away from the hand sanitizer. And yes, good old Soap and warm water, I think. Uh, we've been, I've been doing it since I was knee-high to a piss ant as long as I can remember. Um, I'm not a picture of health, but I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm still upright, and I'm still going. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll be fine. All right, gang, again, I just wanted to share my thoughts with you today. 
quick little video. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I shall see you. I don't know when, but I'll be here on the YouTubes. All right, gang. Blind viewers are awesome, and I should know, because I'm blind viewsing. That's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, back, back.